In this week's Super Soul Short, when her inner questions kept resurfacing, an artist created a fresh new intention for her lifelong work. I live in Pence, Nova Scotia. On the old Pence Road. Just down from Pence School. And my name is Louise Pence. So we had a small barn which I could use as a shop. Potter's wheel loaned from a friend and we used electric kiln. And Pence Pottery was born. For 30 years, I created production work and I, for some reason, looked up the word vessel, a clay vessel, that's what I create. And I was surprised to find out that the word vessel had four different meanings. So how to express that? The first definition of vessel is it's a container, a bowl, a, a, a jar, a jug, a pitcher. I had five different patterns that people collected. Fruits and flowers, grapes and roses and, you know, the stuff that sells. And year after year, people came, and I had loved it up until the last year. And in the last year, my heart went out of it. Perhaps that led to the shutting down internally of, I don't want to make pots anymore. At the same time, there seemed to be so many stories in the media daily about the atrocities and injustices being put upon women around the world. And I thought, am I contributing to the problem by my silence? And I came to the conclusion that I was. The material is capable of saying more than a functional pot, so use the material to say something you care about. The second meaning of the word vessel is it's a boat. A vessel is a boat. You're in a ship. It represents our journey of life. So all these boat forms took shape. And I went from creating these vessels to, OK, now I want to focus on the figures, female figures that told these stories was what I needed to do. The third meaning of vessel is a vein or an artery. The red line between the, the figures pierced through their heart. It represents our lifeblood, our connectivity to each other. It represents you know, all our stories from previous generations. This process of smoke firing is so, it's so primitive. It, it, uh, it's so simple to touch a material that came out of the earth and to shape it and to fire it so that it's hardened and useful or beautiful. Once you've had the joy of creating something with your mind and your hands, it's a bit of an addiction. These sculptures, just like us, they are strong and powerful and enduring, like the women I'm trying to represent. But just like us also, they're very fragile and vulnerable. So, so this piece of work, if all goes well, it's going to be around in 2,000 years' time. It will still have my fingerprints in it, then. And the fourth definition of vessel, uh, it, it's actually in scripture. We are containers for the spirit. So when I read the definitions, it, I had all these pictures in my head of what that looks like.
I had found my voice of protest for the way women are treated in the world. You know, it was 30 years, but it's, it's faded pretty quickly. And uh, what I'm doing now is, is much more uh, engaging and satisfying. And hopefully someone is listening. And hopefully someone else will say, I think the same way. I feel strongly too. The artists have an important role in bringing about social change. So find out what you can do. I can do clay, that's all I know. If everybody did what they could, gosh, it'd be pretty interesting. I think those who perpetrate hateful things on others, they're banking on our silence. Recognize it, we all have power. Now what? What are you gonna do with it?